Hey, everybody, I just got through watching this game. Them Georgia Bulldogs and them Auburn Tigers, boy, I tell you, I tell you, what a struggle life they live. <laughs> both teams, both teams, they live in a struggle life. Uh, Auburn, Auburn, you know, they struggling pretty bad. Them daggone, oh, man, them Georgia Bulldogs, ooh, they supposed to be represent all the college football as a national champion, but I don't want them representing me. They look like straight trash, too. Oh, man. I thought George was supposed to be this big powerhouse, and I thought they were supposed to uh, have this vaulted defense that can't nobody run on them. But them Auburn Tigers ran for over 200 yards on that defense. Oh, my goodness, man. They put on their track shoes, too. Went to the track and ran over 200 yards on that vaulted Georgia defense. I told them Georgia Bulldogs, they ain't got the defense from the last two years. They got some garbage over there. And as far as they dag on offense, mm, mm, mm. Carson Beck, he got the job done today, but he's shabby than a motherfucker. I'm going to tell you that now. I don't give a damn that he passed for 300 yards. I don't care. He's shabby as hell. And if he meets somebody, a good defense, you're going to have a bad day. Mr. Georgia Bulldog, man. But congratulations. You got the win. It was ugly. It was ugly, but guess what? An ugly win is better than a pretty loss. Like I always say, the object of the game is to win. And that's what you did, Georgia Bulldogs, even though you look like straight trash doing it. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. You, I already said it. You will be falling in the ranking because ain't no way as of right now as of today, as of the first game of the season, week one, week two, week three, week four, nor week five, you are not better than Michigan. You are not better than Texas. Uh, you are not better than Auburn. Not Auburn, but Oregon. You are not. So Michigan, Texas, and Oregon is better than than you, Georgia Bulldog. I'm going to just put it out there right now. All, all the way across the board. And I'm talking about offensively and defensively. You like to say Pac-12 don't play, uh, uh, de uh, play defense? Well, guess what, Mr. Georgia Bulldog? Man, shit, y'all don't either. Y'all don't either. Look at the – look at – I know you won the two SEC games that you played. I know. But you struggled against both of them. And guess what? Both of those SEC teams that you played, unranked. I just want to put that out there. Unranked. Now, as far as Auburn, your defensive coordinator, he need to be fired as of right now. Right now. You can't get off the field on third down, and those Georgia Bulldogs was going to the same player every day on third down and seemed like to me the same play. Brock Bowers, Mr. Do Everything for those Georgia Bulldogs. And I do mean Mr. Everything, tight end, wide receiver, and running back. He lined up at all four positions uh, today. And guess what? All three positions, I meant. And at all three positions, he got the damn ball. <laughs> Mr. Everything for them Georgia Bulldogs. If Brock Bowers go down, there is no offense for the Georgia Bulldogs in this game. I mean absolutely none. None. Now, Auburn, they had so many chances to, to lock this game up. They couldn't take advantage of it. They couldn't take advantage of it. An easy interception that they should have had. An easy one on a, on a tip pass from uh, Brock Bowles. But dude couldn't catch it. And then they could have had a first down over on the sideline. Dude let the daggone defender rip it from him. But I'm t I kept yelling, look, send the daggone blitz. But no, Auburn... They want to sit back there and do what they do. And every time, Brock Bowers, wide open. So for you Georgia Bulldog fans, y'all better stay on bending knee and hope and pray like hell that don't nothing happen to Brock Bowers. Because if something happened to Brock Bowers, ain't a chance in hell you'll even win the East. I'm going to go that far. You won't even win the East if something happened to Brock Bowers. I don't care about you delusional Georgia fans getting all up in arms uh, and, and acting like y'all don't have any deficiencies. You got deficiencies on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. And offensively, all you got 
is Brock Bowers. Defensively, you really ain't got nothing. You really ain't got nothing. I'm going to tell you that now. So, it is what it is. The, the blueprint has been put out there. The blueprint has been put out there. And just like I say about Kirby Smart, our running quarterback, <laughs> our running quarterback, he always have problems with him. Always. If this daggone guy or, or whatever the damn quarterback name for, for Auburn, if he had any kind of arm, y'all would have been done today. I thought they should have played Robbie Ashford more. Why the hell you put Robbie Ashford in the game to give the ball to somebody else? That's crazy. And I said it. Kept yelling. Daggone. They should have went for the daggone field goal when they had it. What was it? Third and one, third and two. I mean, fourth and one or fourth and two. They didn't pick it up. And then they had, oh, but it is what it is. Georgia still would have won, but hey, it, it would look good. And trust me, George, it's a damn shame. It's Auburn. And you couldn't get the lead until the fourth quarter? I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, that's bad. I remember back when we played Auburn, when they was terrible too, terrible, and we had to go into overtime, and, you know, we was uh, behind the whole game. Boy, they clowned us. But yet, a lot of them Georgia fans will look at this game and say, well, we won. Never mind how we played. We won. That's how they do. That's how they do. Boy, I tell you, boy, y'all, wait, wait, boy. And then the thing about it, I was live. During the whole live, some of these people that came on when the game was over, Georgia fans, none of them was in the live the whole time. Like what, Hazel Brand Pete? Didn't see him at all. Uh, LTZ, Walker, whatever the fuck that name is. I mean, Jesus. KJ Bryant, he was quiet as hell. He was there for a minute. Oh, man, Jesus. Dr. Dunn, he was not there the whole live, man. LRDJ34, the whole live. He was not there. But I tell you what, George Bulldogs, y'all day coming. You're going down. You're going down. And I tell you what, play like that against Kentucky. I guarantee you you lose. I can guarantee you that. Play like that this coming Saturday against Kentucky. You think you're going to? Struggle through the whole season and nothing's going to happen? You done lost your damn mind. I don't care how good y'all think he is. You ain't what you was in 2022. You ain't what you was in 2021. You are a whole lot worse on both sides of the ball. Only thing that saved you through five games was your schedule. Let's repeat it again. Tennessee Martin. Ball State. South Carolina, which you struggled like hell with them too. UAB and today Auburn. Struggle like hell with them. Two unranked SEC opponents. Mm, mm, mm. You was down to both of them. To both of them. But y'all are supposed to be some big, bad giant. Y'all ain't worth a damn. Some sour asses with one good player who saved y'all. They always say one player can't make that big of a difference. But in this case, yes, he can. And that is Brock Bowers. And let's talk about Carson Beck. And I done told you. I done told you. That's going to be a downfall right there. Carson Beck and Mike Bobo, that is going to be your downfall. Carson Beck, I have receivers wide open, straight down the field, right in front of him, and he'll miss them every damn time. Damn shame. Y'all, tomorrow, they need to open it up. He's a great deep ball thrower. Not from what I'm seeing. Not from what I'm seeing. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. Oh, one more thing. Congratulations. Once again, George Bulldogs, your kicker made the field goal, so now y'all can shut the hell up. Down in your kicker. Stop downing that man. Shit. But anyway, President Chip, you are so right about your quarterback, about your daggone uh, uh, offensive coordinator, and about your defense. You are so right. So let them haters hate on you, uh, uh, President Chip, and you just keep calling it like, it's, like you see it. Like all true dog fans should do. Don't be delusional. But anyway, it is what it is. Congratulations to the George Bulldogs for pulling out the win. Hey, you struggle like hell. 
but you got to win, and that's the object of the game. And to you Auburn Tigers, go on back to the drawing board. You had every opportunity to win this damn game, and you failed miserably. Every opportunity. Oh, I ain't, I ain't even done. How is it that these mighty George Bulldogs only won by seven points? Seven points when all daggone uh, uh, Auburn had was 82 yards passing. 82 yards passing. Come on, man. And like I said, so much for this. Can't nobody run on Georgia. Auburn ran for 200 yards. I'm, a, I'm just putting it out there. Over 200 yards. But it is what it is. Be happy you got to win, Georgia Georgia fans, and shut the hell up. And uh, go back and rewatch the game and see what everybody else saw. All the daggone deficiencies your offense and defense got. Roll damn tide.